up y'all, Chris Young here and I'm so excited to cook with y'all. Welcome to Chris Young Cooking. Today we're here in one of my restaurants here in Boquete, Panama. We're gonna go outside, we're gonna get the fish guy, we're gonna see what, what he has. We're gonna take that to our kitchen and we're gonna make some amazing ingredients. We're gonna work with some of Panama's most cool, most unusual, most exciting, most fresh ingredients. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see you in the kitchen. Welcome to Chris Young Cooking. Nice day, nice day in Boquete. Volcano. The weather, super awesome. You ready to go see some fish? This is gonna be super cool. Buenas tardes, man, como esta? What do you have for us today? Oh, nice. Look at that. The texture, it's, it's nice and fresh. The smell, wow, it smells just like the ocean, right? You wanna open it up for us? Love this, this is an amberjack. It's a white meat fish, super delicious. Firm texture, I'd compare it to like mahi-mahi, it would be a good good way to oh wow you know we're set right here by the river and this is the wood I used to, to cook with come check this out this is super cool look at this this is a this is Boquete the volcano the highest point in Panama right there the restaurant sits at the foot of the volcano. Unbelievable. The river, the calm, peaceful, tranquil sounds of the river. The beauty, it's beautiful here. We take that, we take the fresh ingredients, and we put it on a plate, and it's unbelievable. These little baby mandarins are sweet. A little bit of acid. They're gonna be fantastic on our ceviche. means abundance of fish. It literally translates to abundance of fish. We get some of the best fish in the world here in Panama. This was caught swimming a few hours ago. Miguel goes down to the ports, he meets the boat as they're coming in, and uh, it's beautiful. As I said earlier, this is amberjack. Amberjack is very similar to mahi-mahi. It's a white, firm flesh, beautiful thing. So we're gonna pull some bones out, we're gonna cut it up, we're gonna make ceviche. Ceviche is an amazing Panamanian dish. Okay, so this is our filet. There's some bones there that I don't really want. And then I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle here. There's some little bones here. This is a boning knife, it's a little bit easier to, to get these bones out. You can also use pliers, pliers and a towel and just kind of gently pull it, kabam. But you want to watch out for these, definitely. So anyway, okay. I'm just going to kind of take this. Go, go slow. We don't want the blood in the ceviche because the ceviche will turn, the blood will turn gray in the ceviche. Uh, here the ingredients are, we have lemon juice, some sweet onion, habanero, and cilantro. What is cilantro? Cilantro is a very fresh, pungent herb used a lot in, in Mexican cuisine. It's used a lot in Asian cooking. It's one of my favorites. All right, so this part I want to use to make a nice sauteed piece of fish. We're going to take this part here, and we're just going to cut it in strips. Ceviche is wonderful, nice summer afternoon. Have uh, some some friends over serve it on some. It's typically served with beer. I, I make a beer sorbet that I put on top of it. It's kind of cool. This is a Panamanian style ceviche. I actually learned this in the Cologne region of Panama. It's kind of like chicken noodle soup. Everybody has their 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 favorite recipe. I'm gonna add a bowl to this. Add this to a bowl. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt on this. Mix it up. And we're gonna add lemon juice. This is a lemon criollo. It's grown here in Panama. Super, super acidy. Acidy is that a word? Acidy. Acidic, I think, is the actual word, right? <laughs> add a little bit more. We're gonna add. This is the habanero. This is some crazy habanero. This stuff is 
stupid hot. It's dangerous. I would use uh, gloves, definitely. I'm gonna take a spoon. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of cilantro, more onion. And then we got our mandarin juice that we cut from those trees out there. We're gonna add a little bit of that in there. We're gonna marinate this in the fridge for about 15 minutes. All right, so the is done. We're gonna, we're gonna make a nice, beautiful piece of fish. But before we do that, I'm gonna cut this pineapple. To tell if a pineapple's ripe, you reach in the middle and you just pull it. If it pulls, it's ready to go. This is, uh, I'm not sure what you pay for a pineapple, but here in Panama, this is about a dollar. So, very, uh, very good price. We're just gonna use half of it. All right, so we're gonna peel this thing. You can actually take this and make they use this to make a juice called, como se dice, chicha. Right? Chicha, sí, chicha. chicha. All right, we're gonna take our pineapple. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Mm. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take these and set this here. Okay, I have our filet here. We're gonna cut it, we've, we've cut it. We're gonna add a little salt to it, add a little pepper to it. We're gonna add a lot of pepper to it. We got the sweetness from our pineapple, so I'm gonna add a little bit of that pepper across. I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika as well. We wanna like, we wanna blacken it. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, skillet up here. I'm gonna get this smoking hot. You know it's hot when when the oil, see how slow the oil's moving? When it's moving super fast, we know it's nice and ready. A lot faster. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take this, and we're gonna set it, and we're gonna set it right in here. We wanna hear that, that noise, that's perfect. We're gonna let that go for a few minutes. We're gonna serve this with our pineapple. I'll just cut a real thin pineapple. We're gonna serve it right on top, that spice, that from the, the pepper and the paprika. The butteriness from the fish and the sweetness from the pineapple. It's gonna be awesome. Check the fish. Should have a nice dark color. Oh, beautiful, look at that. Okay, let's go to our pepper. And we're gonna cut it like this. There we go. We're gonna take a piece of this. Done. We're just gonna set this here for just a moment, and we're gonna add our topping. A little bit of pineapple in there. take this pineapple just kind of set it there just like that a little bit of salt a little bit of paprika we'll, we'll have some fun with it and we're going to take our fish a little bit of our pico de gallo here wonderful fresh amberjack I like, I like very much. It's delicious. Let's finish with the ceviche. The ceviche is marinated. Can you see that? See how it's cooked? It's kind of like Christmas in there, red and green. It's acidic, it's sweet. 
that crunch from the onion, the, the just the fresh, vibrant flavors. I eat this just like a, a salad almost. Simple. And then we're gonna finish this with beer sorbet. It's like beer snow cone. There we go. Then we take a little bit more paprika. That's it. That's our ceviche. Let's go give it to our friends. It's their first time to Panama, so we're we're giving them one of Panama's best and one of my favorite dishes. Panama has lots of dishes. We'll blow them away. I hope. We'll see. This is the ceviche. So. Enjoy. Okay. Great. They like it, they say it's gangsta. If you like what you see, please click like, please follow us, please subscribe, and leave us your comments. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.